Well, problem one asks us, is it true or false? Zero is a counting number. Well, notice above here I have listed the counting numbers. And they start with one, and then two, three, four, the numbers you count with. And you don't count with zero, so zero is not a counting number. So number one, false. Number two, it says negative four is a whole number. Look at the whole numbers. The whole numbers are just like the counting numbers, except you have an additional number zero to start off that list. So negative four is not a whole number, so it's false. Uh, problem number three asks us about negative three-fifths. It says negative three-fifths is a rational number. And if you look up here at the rational numbers, the key thing with rational is ratio. If it's a ratio of two numbers, or can be written as a ratio of two whole numbers, um, or two integers, then it's a rational number. So negative three-fifths is a rational number. This is true. In problem number four, they, ask, they say negative seven is an integer. And if you look at the integers up here, they're all the negative whole numbers and the positive whole numbers and zero. So you've got... Um, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. These three dots mean negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8. Negative 7 is one of those. So negative 7 is an integer. That's true. In number 5, it says negative 7 is a rational number. Well, it doesn't look like a ratio of two numbers, but we could write negative 7 as negative 7 divided by 1. And if you look at, so negative 7 divided by 1 is the ratio of two integers. So that is a rational number. Here it is listed as one of the example rational numbers, negative 7 equals negative 7 divided by 1. So it can be written as a ratio. It is a rational number. So number 5, the correct answer is true. That is true. Negative 7 is a rational number. <clears throat> now, number 6 says square root of 2 is an irrational number. The irrational numbers are numbers like, well, the square root of 2, the square root of 3, not the square root of 4, because the square root of 4 equals 2, which is a counting number, and a whole number, and an integer, and a rational number, but not an irrational number. But the square root of 5 is an irrational number, the square root of 6, the square root of 7, the square root of 8, not the square root of 9, because that's equal to 3, but the square root of 10 is another irrational. Other irrational numbers are numbers like pi. Uh, but in any case, this is, square root of 2 is a, an irrational number, so this is true. Uh, in problem number 7, it says 0 is a negative number. Well, no, it isn't a negative number. In fact, 0 is neither negative nor positive. It's, it's a number that sits right on the line, dividing the positive numbers on its right and it's negative numbers on its left. So this is not a negative number. That's false. And number eight says there are numbers less than zero. Well, yes, all the negative numbers are numbers less than zero. So this is true. So there we have it.